first contact is gonna be none other than P Psalm himself. Nice recon bolt, but Dim Sum Boy, that's that one-way cage that allows him to have a lot more space, but tagged out now, he's gonna be forced away. Dim Sum Boy alongside Tom, Ooh. looking to hold it down. Couple of kills go the way of TSM, but there's reinforcements quick to arrive. No, very, very fast rotations, in fact. Ace is still able to get oh. to Leviathan holding the outside area. What a flick from Playboy Joe. And watch out over towards stairs. Sabrosa thinking about the peak. But Playboy Joe already has an opportunity for a couple of right clicks onto Hayes. Now it's only a 1v1. Sabrosa down to 20 HP. He wasn't in a position to try to trade. Playboy Joe oh could do goodness. it with a right click. Sabrosa gets the first shot, but he puts him down to 7 HP. And Ares for Leviathan. They get one ping here from... From Psalm, he could actually start spraying away. And indeed, oh, that's actually not the intended. Oh, oh that, that's well. not the intended outcome whatsoever. Instead, it's actually Dim Sum Boy going down early. And the dry shock dart from Psalm ends up hitting right on target. Down goes Haze. Still four on four. Wardell on top of the wall. Still perked up, but nobody's peeking. Psalm! Oh, Psalm goes out for the wide swing. And Sabrosa on his way over. A little bit of a detour. He stops and he gets the kill. One man advantage for TSM is now Squirtle Squad. They're still stuck up with the SMGs and they're stuck outside of site. Yeah, Wardell as well has got a really nice position just to kind of watch over the site. KO Knife goes in, but Wardell, what can he find? He's able to get a nice free kill. He drops down and now there's just two players left. Playboy on 19 HP, 4v2. However, Nulia is, is good to at least kick it off and Bang is struggling that back line. This is unbelievably somehow doable now for the side of Squirtle Squad. Oh, Sabrosa, oh my no! Goodness, no! <laughs> it's a tragedy for Sabrosa! Squirtle Squad now! They have barely 40 HP combined between these last two players. A couple of right clicks could do it. Playboy Joe still ends up getting the hit on the bank. There goes the spray! And Leviathan able to- Touching behind, so Squirtle Squad, although they are aiming for this run. flank, of course, the turret is gonna spot him, and Leviathan is there with an Ares! Oh my! I was gonna say oh a couple my. of free frags for him, but Psalm! There he is! Two off the bat, the two players for TSM away from sight, and they end up going down on a heap, so Wardell's trying to fight out with multiple players from Squirtle Squad, trying to fight up in Arches, and Wardell is about to wall up in main, but he actually goes long? He goes along with the wall and he's still sitting on top. He's able to take down one and play Boy Joe three outside of main. And uh, yeah, Squirtle Squad, they can uh, they can take their time now, I guess. Aries, no, yeah, the there pistol you go. is the swing first. Ace, oh, hey. slow down. There you go. <laughs> I love this angle. You can see the swing ready from Dim Sum Boy. As soon as he feels it's needed, he'll swing, try and play off a of Psalm, but the recon bolts countered back from Psalm gives a little bit more space despite being pinged down. And Sabrosa, he's gonna try and stick it. Never mind. At the last second, oh. cancels, and both those players on Squirtle Squad have been forced into the back site. Psalm going in early with a Hunter's Fury, trying to fight back in the middle of sight, but he still has Dim Sum Boy right next to swing. him. There goes Psalm, and both go down. Dim Sum Boy is out. Dim Sum Boy alongside Jonah still getting some kills. Oh. Jonah pretty good, but Leviathan now in a 1v2. Lions it up. We nuts, but in terms of individual positionings, we did get to get, we, we did have oh. uh, a very good sample size and a pretty good taste of what this new TSM lineup is all about. Now let's continue to watch them. Early on, we have a couple of frags going back between Playboy and Sabrosa. Both are down and out for the count. Squirtle Squad, they still maintain two players over towards the B side as currently hazed. He did contact over in mid. He leaves a turret there for now. This Owl Drone is going to dissipate a lot of this pressure. It's going to spot the spike. It's going to spot a second player. And now TSM, you have to rethink their approach once again as Squirtle Squad actually begins to take up a main control. Owl Drone. Does get a little bit more info, but Dim Sum Boy, I think, has just knocked Ooh. Wardell off his rocker right off the wall in that one way. Oh. I think he caught the toes, but wasn't quick enough to shoot. And now Gravel goes out. This is a beautiful defense constructed from both Dim Sum Boy and Psalm. Keeping just three players left. But I mean, Hayes has got a decent advanced position, but I don't think he's really willing to make a move unless his teammates are able to find this kill onto the Cypher. But now he realizes, okay, I've got to get going. Well, there's that kill, but a trade from the back of Whoa. main. You talked about these two players pushing A main. Well, now they're here. And Psalm, he does end up going down. So these 1v1s oh. that TSM are being given are giving them a little bit of life in this one. Yeah, that was it, right? Psalm stays in that position, and I could see this round going pretty much 100% back over towards Squirtle Squad. But now they have to fight their absolute hardest. They put up the Cosmic Divide over towards the back of sight. Now Bang and Leviathan, they are forced to fight out right out in the middle. 
Jonah and Nilias haven't made their approach just yet. They're still clearing out main. Out goes one. That's Nilias going down to Leviathan in the back line. Bang, he hasn't thrown out. Oh, he hasn't thrown out a flash, but he indeed ends up surviving. Jonah catches his back. Still going to be able to get the kill. Leviathan out with a recon bolt, but the recon bolt doesn't catch anything. Oh, Cosmic Divide is down. Ooh. And the Odin coming up big again, Leviathan. The boost up. Oh, is he going to get anything? Over mid. The off no. from Playboy Joe finds nothing. Only one op has shot in. Unfortunately, neither have struck. <laughs> oh, no. No hits whatsoever. The battleship instead sinks over towards that defensive line. Do they still have that op, though? Do they even want to cover it up to try to get a first contact beam main? Mm -hmm. We'll think about it for now. But CSM currently on the move. One person all the way up in main. This is so, so you good for Hayes. Hayes! With the lockdown, it's going to cover up a bit of a cat take. But over in mid, Hayes is just calling over. So much attention to himself. Dim some boy over in top mid. Has to go out and away. But they've called it out perfectly, Sully. Yep. They've doubled back yep. to A. Everyone is here. Nilly has around the corner. Jonas 6 off the cross. Now out comes the flashes. Saw him at the top row. Spraying now in with, with the Odin. Nilly has still gets a kill back. He's going to be able to get a second. One more player over in main. Spraying her way. That's Shock Dark going to be able to hit. That smoking cat, I think he's going to dissipate in just a little bit. Nilly still has to watch out. 33 HP left. Leviathan still finally getting another kill with a Hunter's Hayes. Theory. And Hayes coming up from behind. The person who we were expecting this entire time. Off that work. Off that flank. He comes in late and dim some spots him first. 2v2. Dim some with a couple of shots in. A couple of bursts in onto Leviathan. They only have just about 50. 15 seconds left. They have no utility. In we go. Leviathan still gets the pick. Milias with a flash. Spraying through. He's the won. door is down. He has to get it. He has to break down the door. Line it up. Spray in. Oh, he still gets the kill. Four seconds left. He has to stay alive. Leviathan gets it. I couldn't imagine like lugging around again. Something that big like an Odin. Oh. No way. Here we go back, though. Yet another big gun, the Heavy. The Operator coming out early on for Playboy Joe. A couple of trades over towards that mid side. That's Jonas 6. Elise taking his team back with a little bit of an advantage for the first time in a real long time. Mm -hmm. Little battle over in A main. But again, it's just the Odins coming out to play. It's both Leviathan and Som, both Sovas, staking up with a big LMG. Otherwise, the rest of the server is really quiet. Spike is all the way down outside of B main. There's Four one person kill. lurking outside of A main. There it is. And, okay, full strength, 4v4. Nobody's gonna trade this. And it's 26 HP for Jonah, which is probably the, I think he walled himself off on accident. That's a little unlucky. Oh, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> but, you know, everything's sorted out. Bang. Pulling out the Leer. Now with 40 seconds left, what is the play? Playboy Joe in a nice perch position on that A bomb site with that operator. I think he's on top of... Either the double sack or he's just sitting on like the stone blocks underneath a heaven. So he's got a nice position where he can dash right back to Jenny and that allows left. Jonas 6 to come in from garden side, help support the swing. And you have that crazy cross from that left side of sight. And keep in mind, you've got no smokes on the zigzag, so it is just as dangerous. And there it is. There's the first. Is he going to get more? Oh, I could have potentially gotten a little bit more, but bang, good shot back. Time very, very quickly running out, but it's all oh, there it is. The X Factor to the Insom trying to go out with that Hunter's Fury, but he misses out on the first two, and he's not able to pinpoint where Leviathan is at all. A wasted ulti. It doesn't get a singular pick, and it still maintains most of the players from TSM in the middle of sight. Hayes, he's the first contact off the drop. In comes Somatism, boy, but Leviathan with a spray through the wall. And now one last player remaining. It's Jonas 6 in a 1v2. Hayes goes for the peak. Hayes. A lot of noise towards his A side, but I don't think TSM are fighting. You can see already two players still hovering around the B side. Leviathan moving a little bit closer to the defender's spawn, but the whole hit from Squirtle Squad is working back in towards B where that turret will get first contact. Turret will get first contact, and there's two people here to react to it, and there it is. Hayes now having to go back with that Lovely. Nano Swarm, and it's immediately popped. Good Nano Swarm, and it stops off right that little take already from Squirtle Squad, but nobody else is there. Again, good Nano Swarm, it delayed time, but nobody from Squirtle Squad is able to actually capitalize oh. off the cross. Now, in comes Sami, he's going to be able to get a couple more taps onto Leviathan. Kind of unfortunate for Bang that he wasn't actually able to focus up on aim after his teammate was done. 
think he actually got caught out with his knife out. So a bit more unfortunate than usual. Still Squirtle Squad. Four players right in the middle of sight. Nobody over towards B main, but they still commit a smoke to it. Paranoia over towards the back left of sight. But Dilia still, still just fine. Dim some boy from around the corner. Does get that first contact. Wardell with another pick. Playboy Joe wants to go up close and personal. Goes out with a right click. Wardell gets the pick. But it's still decided. They're going to leave Wardell back over towards the B site. Oh. But the first contact, the turret, alongside Wardell's op, it's going to have to be that first line of defense. Nelia's around a corner. Going to go for that first peak. Wardell misses on the shot. And now he has no util. Hayes is here with a couple of bullets through off the spray. But with 40 seconds left, it's That's more than spike. enough time, potentially, for Squirtle Squad to rotate back. Bane gets that first pick. Couple more mid. Jonah gets the pick back. Hayes watches up that cross once again. There's actually two players here. But the Nebula! It's too much of a gap. Mr. Frozen can actually get another pick here. Niliaz is just fine with 89 HP going right into A. Playboy Joe, who's been here laying in wait essentially this entire time. Shock darts go in, but it's not going to be enough to hold them back. A very nice recon bolt from Leviathan. It's a whole lot of information, but 10 seconds left. Spike will finally go down in the 3v3. Oh boy, at least delayed just a little bit. That knife is going to be huge. No U-Tel left for the Paranoia. That was the final bit. It's already gone out. 2v3 suddenly as Playboy Joe from underneath. Finding a second here. It's up to Wardell. He might need to save this operator and he got off angle. Oh, Wardell gonna be able to get one finally, but it is Nilias who can get there picked up, and indeed is getting picked up. Leviathan with the first pick has to aim back over towards stairs through the smoke, through the nebula. Wardell goes down to Psalm, so now it's still that three on three. Squirtle Squad, in theory, they have sight, but TSM, they've rotated very quickly. Playboy Joe now down to 6 HP. He's going to be able to get one. Des is away over towards Logs, but Sabrosa gets to go back. And Nilias has to go for the spray transfer to potentially stop the 11th. But the 11th is more than on, is more than on its way. TSM still able to hold it down. Again, I, I just like the idea of pulling out off angles, you know, especially in a must-win round. Cheese strats. Or so three stars left. He can use us as gravels and Nova pulses, and here they come. Cosmic Divide goes out. Hayes stuck underneath the heavens. Sabrosa pushing on through. It's a huge spam, and somehow, some way, TSM are putting up one hell of a defense here in a 3v2. Five seconds for There's just no time, and Jonah is sick. No matter how many kills he can find, it's going to be a round win for TSM, and they find themselves on. Of course, you can always give somebody a second chance, especially if you even have the balls to reapproach a site that was locked down. Oh, man. May have been a decent effort, but now Squirtle... Not even going to give him the chance. No, no well, they, they, they still could. They're still around mid. <laughs> Super oh, I think they are. Yeah, yes, I think yes, they are. there it is. They're going mid. Leviathan, get ready. No, no, I thought he had a cool lineup or something. He was just chilling. Out goes Hades. He's going to be able to get one. Trying to hold down the line is Bang. Bang gets another one. Now the rest of Squirtle Squad, they are funneling their way into the B site, where it is all TSM. Yet another kill for Bang, and a last one from Ward Air's out already over to Ward's elbow, and now they're out. Oh, great flash of some Rosa. He's able to deal with at least the first frag, giving Wardell a little bit more time to play with, and especially that rotation in from Bang to allow Slorbs to go out, but nothing really planted back. just yet or put out yet from TSM as they play that 4v4 post plan. Oh, Leviathan alongside Wardell and bang, all collecting up a couple of shots. There goes that one way off the orb. Dim some boy up close and personal, gonna be able to get one. Now it's a 1v3, now for Playboy Joe. He's only able to get one back. He's down to 7 HP, a fat gap with a wall now, and he can't exactly approach. And a couple of taps from Wardell. Wardell not hitting his shots. Hayes gets off of the diffuser and wide swings with Wardell instead to try to help out with one last take. But Wardell. Doubling back, but even then, Squirtle Squad with 30 seconds left are not committed to A. The spike is still hovering behind them, and I'm not sure if this is a miscalculation. As already, players revealed, and Bang has got a tiny gap in that wall, and 25 seconds left, they are running it back to the B bomb set, where Hayes, again, playing super passive, is not going to look for an early fight. He's already used both the snake bites, so Spike can essentially go down for free. Sure can, Hayes. Just have a bit of a lineup, and oh, there it is. I was so scared that he was actually going to do the lineup right into the middle of the site. He did? But there it is still. No, he did. He did end up connecting on the wall bang. Instead, it is back with a sheriff. Squirtle squad. It's all breaking apart at the seams. Psalm is now the last remaining on a 1v4. 
don't think he has a line up here, and I don't think he has space. 40 HP left. Best thing this man can do is save TSM with a golden start. Yeah, and TSM were they have more time potentially for Bang to rotate over. But now in comes the patience from Wardell. He waits up a little bit for more pixels to show up on his screen. And of course, he's able to aim better. There goes Psalm back though. Two kills right in the middle of sight. Wardell has abandoned. So no defensive player here at all. There goes the plants. So I'm still looking out over towards oh. the back of sight. He's still going to be able to get another kill on the bank. Wardell through the orb with a kill to Som equalizing things at a 2v2. Hayes with a 50-50 oh. as the wall goes down. It's so unfortunate. Playboy Joe, you already know that he's kicking himself for that one. But he can still fight. It's a one-on-one -on -one with none other than Wardell and Playboy Joe. But Wardell, he could shut it down right here, right now. Just a singular one of his knives. He's not even defusing. Whoa! Oh, Playboy Joe! You absolute legend! He's still able to take down... All right. I like dramatics. It's the type of game that I like to sit down and watch, and Sully, I have a feeling that Squirtle Squad can at least make this a little bit more entertaining going forward. It is an early pick, though. A very, very good pick at that. As TSM, they haven't exactly approached DB main really at all. Squirtle Squad, they haven't had first contacts and B too, too much anyways. So TSM, just good timing. Good approach. Still able to get that first kill. Still watch out for the Leviathan. As most of Squirtle Squad is over towards mid. I do like to set up oh, over towards lovely. B, but Leviathan! Oh, brother! No way he even thought of that! What is Leviathan even going for nowadays? Yeah, it's such a perfectly cute execution as well, because Hayes is right there uh, on the other side, I think right in front of Snowman, or in front of Kitchen, and it, it, it's perfect coming out from TSM. Recon Bolt from Leviathan oh, gives him a no. opportunity, and Wardell... Opportunity to farm back up for those knives that he unfortunately wasted in the last round. And while TSM, that's one way to bounce back from an from the eco. You still have Nilias. Has he been spotted by the yellow drone? Yeah, he has. Nilias, yes, he has. Smoke over towards the mid side. It could be Squirtle Squad with another mid take. Gotta love that counter from Hayes. He tosses the orb, seeing the the dark cover go down, and he knows that no one's gonna pressure into that. And ooh, ooh. he's in swing back to play boy Joe, but Wardell. Alongside now, Leviathan are very, very prepared to take these fights. And Wardell trying to drag on to another, but Jonah Six, he's not going to be able to find uh, a team need, or is there's now Som just kind of feeling out the the Sova more? I think it, it's a little hard to tell because he has been finding pretty crazy impact. And likewise with Leviathan, a nice couple of shots. It's more of a testament to how skilled the, these other two players, Playboy Joe and Nilias in particular, can be. Right, we saw Playboy Joe on that jet. It's really, really strong. Same with Nilias on that KO, if you want to call that kind of a half duelist. But yeah, no KO this time around. It's a 4v3. And Nilias and both Playboy Joy are still alive. Viper's Pit, noise made on that drop. But Nilias, it's just such a difficult ultimate to punish. You can send in the Leer, but there's no guarantee you're going to find a kill. But he's skating on top. And this is maybe <laughs> a tiny oversight had Hayes not poked his head throughout the cloud. And yeah, 4v2. So Broza with one flash can help delay this push. And with these last two players over, it becomes very, very difficult. And now Rosa, with all this information, one guiding light to delay, rotations coming in, and Squirtle Squad will be hard pressed to find themselves even stepping foot onto B site. And like you said, uh, the guiding light essentially ready. He can walk right into the orb and get something going for him. So unfortunate for Playboy Joe. Finish. No, absolutely. It, it's it's very fast. It's very, very fast. Hayes needs a first contact to be able to make this work. He's finally able to get one. Can he make it two? Yes, he does. It's worthwhile. Now Bang is here to try to trade out. And now Playboy Joe, the last person remaining in a 1v3. Nothing but a Viper's Pit. No, <laughs> Open Wardell got the kill through the smoke. Are you kidding? What's up with those two rifles, right? They find these kills. Sabrosa, maybe a little bit too over eager to take this fight. Same thing with Hayes. Him going down in particular was a big, big loss because now you no longer have that smoke control, uh, those snake fights, even that cloud down towards mid. So those two players, I think, maybe a little too over aggressive. But hey, you're up 8 to 1. You can try and quad, and it works out perfectly. Yeah, and Bang isn't even going to commit to this fight. Not going to push through. They get the info. Nice punish from Leviathan, though. Four versus is five and everyone here in score to squad is starting to fall back it is full strength only one person has gone down thus far a 5v5 retake already one casualty playboy joe 
Trying to line up over towards the back of side. Again, nobody from Squirtle Squad is in the middle here. TSM is just trying to clear out every single crevice on oh, this site. What? But Squirtle Squad, everyone over towards this back line. It's going to be Bang with the first kill. Leviathan on top of Pipes. Not going to be able to get anything, but it's straight back from Bang. Bang with a revive. Dim some boy trying to spray away. Now it's Psalm in a 1v4. And the Diffuse is coming in at the exact same time. What a burst from TSM. Bang... Yet another 5v5 retake. Sully, I used to say this a whole lot, but I think this is where it fits. It's like a car crash. I don't think you can really look away. It's going to be an explosion right in the middle of this A site. TSM once again facing on an empty A site. The, the Viper's Pit is up. So this is going to force Squirtle Squad to just push into this Viper's Pit. It's going to push this action. In comes Haze. He's going to be able to get that first kill onto Niliaz. But Jonah 6, he ends up getting surprised from behind by the shorty of Wardell. Now watch out for the flank. Flank from Dinsum Boy. Not only that, but the Hunter's Theory is going to be able to connect. It's another kill from Psalm. Wardell from above. Big kill onto Psalm. And the Diffuse is not going to be able to go down. Wardell too far away. And and Squirtle Squad with a well-fought round for the third. Folks, the first round. The rougher, the sharper end of the stick, but maybe things could change. They found success in the last map on the second half, but here they are, unfortunately, losing the first body. Jonas six around. That's a beautiful recon vault, but he's not going to be able to punish. Instant response from Bang as he throws the wall up, realizing that threat's as well. 4v5, now a 5v3, Whoa. as Rosa is very quick to find the headshot onto Jonah. Oh, big from Broza, but still the rest of... Squirtle squads getting closer and closer towards site. What is Playboy Joe doing? I think he got picked up Saw? over in mid. Now he's trying to back away. Saw him going big. Saw him able to get two out of nowhere. And this is actually possible now. Leviathan and Hayes. Now the last two remaining. Saw him with another kill. Very low HP on pretty much everyone. Hayes now in a fiery range. Gonna be able to get two. Oh! Make it a third. The Red Bull clutch. Fall back to the cover. Again, if Dim Simboy, beautiful storm setups, and Wardell there quickly finally able to find a frag. And he's still going, he has the angle! Second kill back from Wardell, and now Dim Simboy and Jonah are the last two remaining. And uh, yeah, Dim Simboy, who's been around the B Cypher, good man. One round to find to close out this series in Squirtle Squad. We were expecting them to put up a fight. We thought this could be the team that could possibly take down TSM, the slow, sluggish Giants that had the slow start yesterday. Like I said earlier, they are coming heated here, and with one more round to go. And especially over towards mid, has been so tough, and Sully, nobody oh. watching mid, nobody watching tunnels, has allowed Wardell to go up kitchen once again. Do like that turret positioning, it is gonna get that ping, but... Early pick from TSM. It's just gonna make Dim Sum Boy's job over in B main a whole lot harder. In comes the exec. Dim Sum Boy is all alone, but he decides to abandon last second. And just like that, the site should just be open. They still have that Viper wall up. Psalm is watching up the cross. Squirtle Squad, they have abandoned the A side. There's two play players over towards mid. Jonah, he heard the updraft, but he's not able to get the pick. Viper pit around the middle. And Hayes stopping Psalm right when he was about to take down the planter. Oh, Nilias to keep his team alive here in the VCT. It's a 1v4 in War.